Stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the Creed. The principles I used to live by. I was a young man then. The Seven Years War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me. Nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shay Patrick Cormac. Shay Cormac is not only an underrated character, but is an extremely misunderstood one too. The fact of the matter is, is that not a lot of people actually played Assassin's Creed Rogue due to the lack of hype, and with the overshadowing nature of Assassin's Creed Unity being right around the corner and clearly having a bigger budget than Rogue did. The fact of the matter is, is that Shay, most people seem to think Shay is a cowardly man who betrayed the assassins and therefore he should rot in hell. Unfortunately, the trailers for this game didn't really do Shay much favors, as they displayed him as a cold-hearted assassin killer that betrayed them out of selfishness. But in actuality, the Shay that's in the game is very, very different. Part of me wants to believe that the people who think Shay is a bad character haven't played the game at all and are just going off of the trailers. So today, we're going to be discussing Shay Cormac and why he's an underrated character. First of all, I need people to listen and understand this. Shay Cormac did not betray the assassins, at least in my opinion. On the contrary, I think they actually betrayed him. You see, Shay is not a cold blooded murderer who kills assassins for sport. In fact, Shay shows a lot of remorse for nearly every assassin he kills. He wept for hope, he expressed regret about killing out a Wale, and he showed a great deal of respect to Liam by pulling his hood up. And that was despite the fact that Liam, his former friend, killed George Monroe, his new friend who had become very, very dear to him after he joined the Templars. And he even saved Achilles' life when Hatham was about to shoot him, and he definitely didn't have to do that. No! Why not? Achilles is harmless now. A mentor with no followers. What kind of world are we making if we cannot show mercy? Besides... He understands what these precursor sites are now. Without him, the assassins may continue their search. Valid points. Shay didn't want to leave the Brotherhood. I mean, they did pluck him from a life of depression and alcohol and gave him the purpose and direction that he sorely needed after his father died at sea. However, he realized with time that the Colonial Brotherhood was just terrible. They were regularly mean to him despite the fact that Shay was never rude to anybody else, and they also regularly called him out on his minor mistakes, despite the fact that they were just that, minor mistakes, and the Colonial Brotherhood literally broke all three tenets of the Creed. They killed thousands of innocent people by sending Shay to Lisbon, when Haiti should have been enough for them to realize what would happen next. They never hid in plain sight, instead proudly displaying their banners all over New York, also lending their support to local gangs in the city who beat up innocent people to gain protection money. And on top of all that, they compromised the Brotherhood by not listening to Shay's warnings. When Shay tried to explain that they had caused the earthquake in Lisbon, Achilles' response was to kick Shay off the homestead and begin prepping for another mission which would have destroyed a third city. And all of this is on top of the fact that they had previously ordered Shay to assassinate the Templar Lawrence Washington, despite the fact that he was about to die anyways from tuberculosis. And then, they blatantly told him to disregard the other Templars' warnings about the Precursor sites, simply because they were Templars. So if anything, the Brotherhood betrayed Shay, 
because they broke the creed multiple times, encouraged the local gangs to harm innocent people, barely flinched upon learning that two cities two cities have been destroyed because of them, and told Shea that their enemies weren't worth listening to just because they were the enemy. And the enemy is always wrong, right? Right? Oh, and the creme de la creme of this whole thing? Shay is forced to steal the manuscript back from the assassins as it contains the locations of other earthquake sites. But then Achilles deems him a traitor and immediately acts towards Shay with hostility. And then when the assassins corner him, Shay defiantly goes to jump off the cliff and kill himself to prevent the assassins from destroying another city. Because he cares so much, he really wants to make sure that not another city is destroyed because he saw Lisbon crumble and he can't let it happen again. So he decides to kill himself just to make sure they don't get the manuscript, and so another city is saved. But you know what the assassins do because they're just such great people in this game? They shoot Shay in the back anyways, even though he was already about to kill himself. That's enough! Give back the manuscript, Shay! I'm sure Achilles- I cannot! I will not let this happen again! All oh, those souls lost! One more hardly matters. Shay! <laughs> And you know what? The Templar, George Monroe, took Shay in. He had him nursed back to health and he treated him with nothing but respect and kindness. He encouraged Shay to speak his mind and he actually listened to him. So as far as this nonsense about Shay being a cowardly traitor is concerned, it's totally false in my opinion. In fact, I'd say it's pretty brave of Shay to do what he did. It takes a lot of courage to defy the group who took you in and gave you your sense of optimism back. Shay didn't want to leave the Brotherhood, but he had no choice. He saw the assassins and how flawed they were. Ordering the death of an already dying man, refusing to show any respect to the fallen Templars, and then standing by and refusing to listen to Shay's crucial warning, Shay had no choice but to leave the Brotherhood to save possibly another 100,000 people from certain death. The assassins were the real villains in this story. He would be ashamed if he saw what the Brotherhood had become. Whenever anyone says the assassins are saints, just point out the scene where they shoot a man who's already about to kill himself. So in short, Shay is not a cowardly traitor. He was a noble hero who did what he knew was right. He destroyed an awful branch of the assassins that were bad for the world, and possibly saved the city from certain doom. He was very remorseful for the assassins that he killed and was never callous towards anybody who didn't deserve it. He was a good person who I'd argue was just too good for the Brotherhood. So if you ever decide to give Rogue another playthrough, I hope you'll do so with an open mind, because Shay Cormac is a character that gets a lot of flack for the greatest thing he ever did, and in my opinion, he's nothing short of a hero. Uphold the principles of our order, and all that for which we stand. Never share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work. Do so until death, whatever the cost. This is my new creed. I am Shay Patrick Cormac, Templar of the Colonial, of the American Right. I am an older man now, and perhaps wiser. A war and a revolution have ended, and another is about to begin. May the Father of Understanding guide us all.